Today's random object. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And click the bell so you'll be notified of upcoming videos. Scorpions are opportunistic predators of small arthropods, although the larger kinds have been known to kill small lizards and snakes. The large pincers are studded with highly sensitive tactile hair, and the moment an insect touches these, they use their chile pincers to catch the prey. Depending on the toxicity of their venom and size of their claws, they will then either crush the prey or inject it with neurotoxic venom. This will kill or paralyze the prey so the scorpion can eat it. Scorpions have an unusual style of eating used in their chelicerae, small claw-like structures that protrude from the mouth that are unique to the chelicerata among arthropods. The chelicerae, which are very sharp and used to pull small amounts of food off the prey item for digestion into a pre-oral cavity below the chelicerae and carapace. Scorpions can ingest food only in a liquid form. They have an external digestion. The digested juices from the gut are egested onto the food and the digested food sucked in liquid form. Any solid indigestible matter, fur, exoskeleton, etc., is trapped by setae in the preoral cavity and ejected by the scorpion. Scorpions can consume huge amounts of food at one sitting. They have a very efficient food storage organ and very low metabolic rate combined with relatively inactive lifestyle. This enables scorpions to survive long periods when deprived of food. Some are able to survive 6 to 12 months of starvation. Scorpions excrete very little. Their waste consists mostly of insoluble nitrogenous compounds such as xanthine, guanine, and uric acid. Most scorpions reproduce sexually and most species have male and female individuals. However, some species such as Hottentata hottentata reproduce through parthenogenesis, a process in which unfertilized eggs develop into living embryos. Parthenogenic reproduction starts following the scorpion's final molt to maturity and continues thereafter. Sexual reproduction is accomplished by the transfer of spermatophore from the male to the female. Scorpions possess a complex courtship and mating ritual to effect this transfer. Mating starts with the male and female locating and identifying each other using a mixture of pheromones and vibrational communication. Once they have satisfied the other that they are of opposite sex and of correct species, mating can commence. The courtship starts with the male grasping the female's pedoplops with its own. The, hair, the pair then perform a dance called the promenade à deux. In this dance, the male leads the female around searching for a suitable place to deposit his spermatophore. The courtship ritual can involve several other behaviors such as juddering and a chelicerol kiss in which the male's chelicerae Pinchers grasp the females in a smaller, more intimate version of the males grasping the female's pedipops, and in some cases injecting a small amount of his venom into her pedipop or on the edge of her cephalothorax, probably as a means of pacifying the female. Get her a little drunk, take her dancing. When the male has identified a suitable location, he deposits the spermatophore and then guides the female over it. This allows the spermatophore to enter her genital opercula, which triggers release of the sperm, thus fertilizing the female. The mating process can take from 1 to 25 hours and depends on the ability of the male to find a suitable place to deposit the spermatophore. If mating continues too long, the female may lose interest, ending, in the, pro ending the process. Once the mating is complete, the male will generally retreat quickly for unknown reasons as sexual cannibalism is infrequent with scorpions.